Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 217. Amyloidosis. What is amyloidosis? Amyloidosis is abnormal aggregation of protein or their fragments into beta pleated sheet structures. So when this abnormal accumulation of protein occurs, it leads to cell damage and apoptosis. Describe the histologic viewing method of amyloidosis. Amyloidosis is seen using Congo red stain and it appears to have an apple green bifringence under polarized light and the affected tissue seems to have a waxy appearance. Name the six different types of amyloidosis. The six different types of amyloidosis includes AL which is the amyloid light chain amyloidosis also known as the primary systemic amyloidosis. The second one is the AA amyloidosis, also known as secondary systemic amyloidosis. The third is dialysis-related amyloidosis. Fourth is heritable amyloidosis. The fifth is the age-related or senile systemic amyloidosis. And the last one is the organ-specific amyloidosis. What is AL amyloidosis? AL or amyloid light chain amyloidosis is the most common form of systemic amyloidosis in the US and it occurs due to deposition of proteins from Ig light chains. In what situation can AL amyloidosis occur? AL amyloidosis can occur as a plasma cell disorder or it can occur due to multiple myeloma. Name all the organ systems that AL amyloidosis can affect. Because AL amyloidosis is a systemic amyloidosis, it can have an effect on multiple organ systems including renal and this could lead to nephrotic syndrome. It can have an effect on the heart which will lead to heart failure or arrhythmias. AL amyloidosis can have hematologic effects and that would lead to easy bruising. Also conditions such as hepatomegaly and neuropathy can all occur. What is AA amyloidosis also known as secondary systemic amyloidosis? AA amyloidosis is a condition in which serum amyloid A proteins are deposited in tissues. Name some conditions in which you would see AA amyloidosis. AA amyloidosis is seen where chronic diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, spondyloarthropathy, and chronic infections. One additional thing to note about AA amyloidosis is just like AL amyloidosis, this also has multi-system effect and that is why it's considered the secondary systemic amyloidosis. What is dialysis-related amyloidosis? Dialysis-related amyloidosis is a condition that occurs in patients with end-stage renal disease and long-term dialysis in which there is beta-2 microglobulin that accumulates. Describe how dialysis-related amyloidosis presents. Dialysis-related amyloidosis often presents as carpal tunnel syndrome or other joint issues. Give an example of heritable amyloidosis. An example of heritable amyloidosis is ATTR, neurologic or cardiac amyloidosis. What is the cause of ATTR, neurologic or cardiac amyloidosis? The reason ATTR, familial amyloidosis occur is due to transthyretin gene mutation. What is the cause of age-related senile systemic amyloidosis? The cause of age-related senile systemic amyloidosis is due to deposition of normal wide-type transthyretin in myocardium and other sites. One additional thing to note here about age-related senile systemic amyloidosis is that it has a slower progression of cardiac dysfunction when compared to AL amyloidosis. What is organ-specific amyloidosis? Organ-specific amyloidosis is when amyloid deposition is localized to a single organ. Describe how amyloidosis occurs in Alzheimer's disease. The way amyloidosis occurs in Alzheimer's disease is due to deposition of amyloid beta protein cleaved from amyloid precursor protein, which is APP. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.